This tutorial is going to show you how to solve linear equations equal to zero using the graphical calculator. To start, you have to know how to graph linear equations, which we reviewed in the last tutorial. The key to any of these equations, and later on we're going to be doing other equations other than linear equations in the same manner, is to make sure that all your terms are on one side of the equal sign and zeros on the other. When that occurs, you can simply graph the equation, in this case on the left-hand side, and find the x-intercepts. Because all we basically are doing as examples is find the x-intercepts of the graph of the function. So let's begin by finding the solutions to 3x plus 5 equals 0. I begin by graphing 3x plus 5. So I hit y equals, clear out anything that's old, and put in 3x plus 5 and hit graph. Now in order for this to work, you must, visual, you must see the x-intercept in the window. Okay, if it's not in the window, you've got to change your window settings so you get the x-intercept in the display window. In order to find that point, now you can do it algebraically by solving for x, we can use the calculator by using the calc menu. Use the calc menu, I hit second and trace. When I do the calc menu, you notice there's a bunch of options. One's value, two, zero, three's minimum, four's maximum, five's intersect, which we'll be using a lot of these in the class. For this particular functionality, you want to use the zero function, which is number two. So you select two. Now what it asks you for is the left bound, the right bound, and then you just hit it. There's a word that says guess, and then it's going to give you the solution. What it's asking for is the left bound of the x-intercept, the right bound of the x-intercept, then you just hit enter the third time and it's going to give you a solution. So what you, what you got to do, if you notice, if I use my right and my left arrow, there's a little tick mark on the line. When it asks for left bound, you want to make sure that tick mark is to the left of the x-intercept. Not on, but to the left of it. So you got to move it using the left arrow to the left bound of the, the x-intercept and hit enter. Then it's going to ask for the right bound. So you have to use your right arrow and go to the right hand side of the x-intercept and hit enter. Then the word guess comes up. Just hit enter and it's going to give you the zero. Zero is going to be x equals some value and y equals zero. In this case x equals minus 1.6666 which you would round to minus 1.7. Now Depending on the book, if you have problems in the book, they might give you the answer in fractional form. The calculator will always give you in decimal form, so you might have to use a little creativity to see that the answers are the same. Another thing about solving linear equations is if the equation is not in this form, you got to use your rules of algebra, your addition, your multiplication, your division, and your subtraction property to get the equation in this form before you can use the calculator. So don't just assume I can use the calculator on any problem. You still might have to do some algebra to get it in the proper form that you're looking for. Now let's look at the second example. Okay, let's quit out of this. So we hit second quit. Hit y equals. Let's clear out the old equation. We're going to put the new equation in. 10x minus 30 equals 0. Now notice it's in the right form. So I'm simply going to put the 10x minus 30 into the calculator. So I put 10x minus 30 graph. Again, it has to make sure it crosses the x-axis for this to work. If it doesn't, you got to change your viewing window so that you can see the, the x-intercept in the viewing window. This one is already in the form that we want, so we simply again do the second calc, 2 for 0, Okay, we're going to make sure we're to the left of the sometimes it's out of the window so you got to play around with your left and white left and right arrows. And then if you notice it says x equals minus 4.04. .04. Uh, we don't want that. Oh, it's way, that's way over here. We got to change that. Notice how this x value, as I move, changes. 
I want X to be at least, now we can see it, there we go. So we want to make sure we're to the left bound of the, of the x-intercept. Now we want to make sure we move to the right bound of the x-intercept. Hit gas. And our zero is 3, 0. So x equals 3, y equals 0. Our solution is x equals 3. Now that what we just did there does happen sometimes when you're jumping back and forth between, between different equations. So you have to use a little creativity sometimes to get the left bound and the right bound when you're doing this. Okay, the more practice you get with the, with the calculator, the better off you get at this. So this concludes my tutorial on solving linear equations equal to zero.